Hello there, Friday afternoon, it's just touching three o'clock, bit of a late start, but it's dark at half four, but I'm up in the forest from your last camp this side of Christmas, looking forward to this one, nice chill out before the big day. <clears throat> I don't know whether to try a new spot or go up to uh, my favourite ditch. It's very, very windy, forecast windy as well. I've got the tarpon bivy. I have only really got the time to make one choice. So let's see where we end up. If some more trees are coming down, you can bet your life it'll all end up like this. See, it's so windy, they're all starting to fall again, look. Look at them. I'll see if we can get past, otherwise I'll pick another spot. The wind is absolutely hideous tonight. So I think what I'm going to do, rather than go in my favourite ditch, I fancy a bit of a view. So I'm going to pitch just up here, and then I can look across the, the valley. So I'm going to pitch here. Well here's the pitch anyway. I've got my tarp, I've done a ridge line. I'm using Prusik knots to keep it tight with the uh, toggles, like that. I've got uh, a couple of guy lines at this end, walking pole. I've got two supporting ties at the back. It's well pegged down at the back. And my ridge line actually goes up the bank there. And I've got another couple of guy lines at this end. So it's not going to go anywhere in this ridiculously powerful wind. I've got my X-Ped mat under there. I've got my Rab 1100 sleeping bag. And I've got my nice comfortable pillar. And there's all my cooking kit and food. I've got a pack of rice and a tin of steak again. I've got a pot noodle for later. And I've also got a bag of bits and pieces to eat if I'm hungry. So uh, that's a nice little pitch. I'll tighten it all down in a minute, obviously. But let's just pull back and have a look at the sky. I seem to be catching it well with the sky these last couple of camps. Look at it. Just look at it. Wow. What do you think of this? Lucky boy or what? I do love a camp. There's the Simon side over there. You see, normally if I'm down in the ditch, I don't get much of a view. But being on the top here, I can just look out. And that's my exact view there, what you're looking at now. How's that for waking up and going to sleep? But I mean, just look at the sky. It's incredible, isn't it? It really is. So here's my normal pitch like in the, in the ditch. So if we walk up, the wind's actually blowing straight down. So I could have had a comfortable pitch in here, but look, you don't really get a view. So if we come up the bank, if we come up the bank, there we have it, look. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, so happy. Look at that. Hey, look at it. How can you not like a wild camp? Oh dear me, look at it. So when I'm lying in the pit tonight, down to the level, look at that for a view. Hey, look at this. Right up to the Simon side. Oh, I'm over the moon with this. Right, let's get cooking. The sky just gets better and better tonight. I'm not going to go up on the top there because uh, it's, it's more than beautiful enough from down here. I mean, look at this. It's fabulous, isn't it? I suppose you could have a wonder over there, but you can't actually see the sun. You can just see where the sun is there in the bottom, so it's behind clouds, but it's just the colour. It's incredible. I'm very lucky to be out here tonight. I said to the wife, do you mind me having the last camp before Christmas? And she said, no. It's better tonight as well, because if I would have camped Saturday night, I would have woke up to, uh, to my anniversary, which is Christmas Eve, so I'll be back for that. I'm just heating the tin of steak up, nice big chunks of steak in there. And there's me rice as well, all nice and hot. 
I mean, just look at this, look. Why? Wow. Lucky boy, I what? <laughs> I got my bag of food, pot noodle for later, my cooker. And most importantly, I've just filled up a, a cup with a coffee bag. There it is. Now, for anybody that says, why do you want to bring a tin into the hills? Because you've got to dispose of it. You know, I bother. I've got me two pots there, look. All my rubbish will go in there. I'll put the rubbish in my tin lighter as well. Then the lid goes on and it's sealed up and it's carried out. Because <coughs> obviously I'm going to leave no trace camper. Well, look at this. I'm just sitting here. I'm just, well, I'm lying back just enjoying it. Look. Honestly. I just love it. This is why I don't really tend to come if it's raining when I get here. It's forecast quite a lot of rain in the night. But it doesn't matter because I'll be under here. I can pack up in the wet. But when I get to a camp, I want to sit here. I like to spread out because I'm a bit of an untidy camper, to be honest. But uh, it'll all be tidy when I get to sleep. But I'm lying here. I'm looking at the views. I'm in the fresh air. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So if I come in, if I come in, it was peeing it down. It's just not the same. So that's why I don't do many wet camps. Although I don't mind walking out in the rain. If it's really wet, you might as well just come away in a tent. Well, I'm just loving it. Last one before Christmas. Loving it. I'm very lucky, really. The wife and the kids don't mind. I suppose the kids, as much as I try and get them into camping, they prefer the camper van. Bella wants to go a couple of camps in. That's They've got next week off. Well, I've got two weeks off and the wife's got next week. So I've got a day's fishing up the coast booked with Jed on the coast. And I'll, I'll try and find the park up and, and I'll go away with Bella in the van. So it doesn't leave much time for camping. So I'm glad they don't mind me coming out, you know, on my Friday nights. Right, we'll have, uh, I'll sign off. I'm going to lie here, enjoy my coffee and enjoy the views. It's a shame the wind's coming from that direction because I, I, I could have had that for my view while I drink my coffee. What a sky. Fabulous. Fabulous. So I've tidied up a bit now. I'm just drinking my coffee. I, d I never come on a camp now without at least a few bags of these hand warmers. You open the packet and then they work for six to eight hours, the spot on. But uh, from Graham's Bothy camp last weekend, I, st I, I wasn't fortunate enough to go along because of commitments. But I still did the Secret Santa and I was lucky enough to get a couple of these uh, USB rechargeable hand warmers. And they absolutely work a treat. So thank you very much whoever bought me those. They're handy in the fact you can just turn them on and off when you need them. Whereas the other ones, they're good for putting in the bottom of your sleeping bag or in your boots. Because once you've, once you've activated them, that's it. So, uh, um, fantastic. Thank you very much. Hello there. I'm just lying here, my bivvy. It's just getting on. I've got uh, all my bits and pieces tucked in close now. I must say, this uh, I've got a. I've used a couple of clove hitches up there on the loop of the tarp. I'm going along the tarp, that's a clove hitch at that end. But using these prusik knots at the top to keep it tight, it's took a lot of the flapping out of the tarp. I mean, tarps don't flap much anyway, but by using them prusiks on a guy lot on, on a ridge line next to the tarp and then pulling it tight. It's a cracking idea if I say so myself. It's just made it nice and tight. Keeps it really still in the wind. But uh, there's not much to say now tonight. So I'm just lying here listening to the pitter patter of the light rain on the tarp. Listening to the deer's bark. There's a fair few deer barking and that. God knows what's going on over there. But uh, really, really enjoying it. It's, I'm, I'm just chilled out. It's magic. The next camp will be after Christmas now, next Friday. I can't see me fitting one in in the week, not with the trips I've got booked with the kids. But uh, it's a shame. In this, well, it, obviously tonight is the first of the 
last night was the solstice, the, the uh, shortest night. So now it's getting lighter, isn't it? So when it gets light, dark, sorry, when it gets dark about seven, eight o'clock, that's when it's perfect for camping, really, because uh, you can sit out and enjoy a bit more of the scenery. But I think uh, I sat talking to Graham the other day, we had a coffee and that, and we were talking about where to pitch and where to, to camp. And the Cheviots on the top of the hills and that, it's perfect for in the summer months because you, you get a slight breeze and you don't get bothered with midges. Whereas the forest and that, you can't really come in the summer because you get bothered by all the bugs and the midges. So I think uh, the forest is for this time of the year because you can always find a bit of shelter. And then the, uh, the hilltops are for the summer. I think that's the way to do it. In the colder months after Christmas, I might, uh, I might use the bush box a bit more, but I'm not really, although I like forests, I prefer the edge of a forest because I like the scenery. I'm not really a bush crafter, but uh, I might start using my little bush, bush box a bit more, just, just, for the, just for the pleasantness of it, sitting by a fire. I don't really need the fire. I can't really be bothered with the mess and the messing with the wood, but it, it is pleasant to sit by a fire. So uh, there's not much more to say tonight. I'm just listening to the pitter patter. Don't know if you can actually hear that, but uh, I should say in the morning anyway. Good morning. It's half past six. My word, what a stormy night! talk about a bit of pitter patter it absolutely hammered it down I mean I'm bone drying here I, I got that hot so to take my coat off I just shoved it up there and like tucked it inside the bivvy but uh, the outside of the bivvy is wet but everything, everything else is, is okay the wind absol is absolutely has hammered me all night Tarps held up, look. I've just took the microphone out to see if you can catch this wind. It's mad. I mean, this is just like, it's just pummeling right down. I still had a good night's sleep. I woke up every hour or so for the, I mean, battery if I look if I lie on my right side this was smashing me in the face <laughs> smashing me in the face but uh, it's been an interesting night to say the least well what an eventful night it's a good job I decided to have the exped mat under the bivvy now when you put the exped mat in the bivvy it gives you perfect protection, it's windproof and everything, but it does restrict the amount of space you've got in the bivvy, obviously, because it's a it's a 197 by, by 60 mat, so it's a bit big, really. It's long and wide, but having it underneath, I had the extra space in the hood here, so I could stick my blue coat in and keep it dry, because obviously I, I, need, I needed this coat dry for the morning. And my rucksack here, I just covered up with me with my Gore-Tex jacket because it absolutely hammered it down it's 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 well sudden be interesting to see what my ditch is like over there because I've never actually been rained out in the ditch even when I've been camped in it in uh, rain the little bit I choose always seems to be dry whereas the rest of it's buggered but I've just made made a sachet of porridge and a, and a, and a cup of tea so uh, I'll have that. I'll just wait for it to get light and then uh, get packed up and have a nice walk out, see how many more trees have come down, and then go out. Oh, looking forward to Christmas this year. Well, I'll do it for you. <laughs> plenty of food, plenty of treats, presents for the kids. Right, I'm going to have my breakfast. The weather's taken a turn for the worse. I'm not going to bother waiting until it's properly uh, light. There we have it, look. There's my flask ready to go on the way back. Leave no trace, as always. All my stuff's accounted for, all picked up, no mess. 
what more can I say? Just getting light now, can't really see anything, but uh, I've just nipped down to my ditch. That's that's normally where I lie in the ditch. It's absolutely bone dry. So we've had all that heavy rain, but uh, my ditch is still dry. So that's worth a thought, isn't it? Because if you're in a storm, you're actually out the way here. It's getting light quick now, isn't it? I just love all these different lights in the morning. It's just starting to get light now. Nice pleasant walk out before the heavy rain starts. As the wind's getting up again. The rain's due in. And it's only raining a little bit now. No more trees come down, it's just the same ones. So I've just got a battle. I've just got a battle to get past these. Ankle breaking stuff this isn't it? I don't know what it is now but we seem to be having more and more storms. It's just so everything's so windy all the time. Right, well I'm really back at the car now. Another half a mile or so to go. It's been a great camp. I don't know why, but I always enjoy it under the, like a, a, a tarp that's fixed down at one side. The rain can't get you from the one side. You push yourself in and you just watch and feel all the heavy rain coming down. I love it. If you was in a tent, you just wouldn't open the door, would you? Because one, you'd fill all your vegetables up. And two, well, you just don't open the door in the tent when it's raining. It was in a tarp really enjoy the weather. This is mad, this is. Oh, walking in this head on wind is an absolute killer. Anyway, to all my viewers, have a lovely Christmas and a, I'll probably have a camp before the new year, but uh, have a nice Christmas and a happy new year. If you like my videos, please, please subscribe because I get many more views and subs. It doesn't take anything just to press that button. It does the channel good. <laughs> Have a nice Christmas. See ya.